We're going to change the brake pads on this 2017 Polaris 570. Brake pads um, on most of these are going to be pretty similar. These are the same basically as I had some 15 years ago, and they're basically the same. So we got our tire off, box of brake pads. Really, all you're going to need is a socket and a C-clamp for the most part. C-clamp's what I use. Imagine there's other ways to do this. Uh, so here's the brake pads are right here. We're gonna jump behind now and show you the two bolts holding it together. So as we jump behind, you're gonna see one's there and one's here. So we just kind of pan back around and then you just pan back around, just taking those two out. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, so we got the bolts out, holding it in our hand. You can take this piece off if it gets in your way or starts to drive you crazy. Um, I'm not probably not even going to do it. I just did the other side and didn't. Now I'm going to take the C-clamp, put one end right here, one end probably pretty much on that bolt. Just give it a little squeeze. We're looking to move this piece right here in, this, this shaft here. Looking to move that in so we can pop these brake pads off. Might almost be able to get them now, but it would make it a lot easier. All right. Now we can see we got the brake pads off. In this case, I took an Allen wrench and loosened this bolt or this nut or bolt or whatever this right here just to touch. Okay, we got the brake pads out. I loosened this with an Allen wrench just to touch, just so I could get this piece here in a little bit. So we took the two bolts out here and here. Then we used a C-clamp, screwed this piece in as much as we could. Now I loosened this one up a list of touch with an Allen wrench. On the other side, I didn't have to do that. Uh, what I thought was interesting is the other side, the brake pads were pretty similar. Here, whether it's going to show it all that well or not, they were a little more worn out. So that was a, kind of interesting to note. Okay, we got the brake pads back in. I'm going to tighten this with an Allen wrench. And just a side note, to get to this, yeah, you can take that off, but it's a bit of a pain. It's just a long bolt that runs all the way through, and then you have to take that off to get to that. It's not that hard to do with it on. So again, you tighten this back up. That's just to move this so I could get this piece here. I got the two brake pads back in. Gonna attach it back like this and tighten it back up and we're pretty good to go.